Hello, this is Gary Schnitke, and this is a five-minute Farm Doc Daily dealing with crop insurance decisions and risk in 2022. We are in the month of February and beginning to set our projected prices for crop insurance. At this point in time, it looks like our projected price for corn will be $5.70 and for soybeans $13.50. Those prices will be higher than we've seen in recent years compared to $4.58 last year for corn and $9.17 for soybeans. So they'll be much higher but and thereby providing a higher guarantee, but at the same time, our costs have increased. We are now looking at over $1,000 of cost for corn production, and that includes $755 of non-line cost and $309 of cash rent, and that's an average cash rent. So if we have much higher cash rents, um, the risk will be higher. So we have higher guarantees, but also higher risk. We're going to look at those in combination, and we're going to do that first for corn. And I'm going to take a central Illinois situation where we have a farm with a 220 bushel APH yield trend adjusted. That will be used to set guarantees, and we're looking at a projected price of 570 Remember, that's a futures price, and the cash price that we will receive from that will be lower than that. And we're using a 30 cent basis for 540 in calculating these uh, returns, we're coming up with a $1,188 return. That is based on $755 of non-line cost and $305 of cash rent. Given those costs and the re revenue that we see listed above, we get $1,188 of return. If we look at crop insurance in the 85 down to 50% coverage levels, we see the cash revenue guarantee. We're calculating this based on a cash price, so that 540 price. At 85% coverage level, we have $1,010 of guarantee of cash from either crop revenue or crop insurance. We get that, we have a minus $50 return. And as you can see there, we get lower cash revenue guarantees and our net return, cash revenue guarantee minus co total costs go down. So even at the highest 85% coverage level, we have chances of losses with RP 85%. Let's look at soybeans. Again, we're going to use a central Illinois example with a 70 bushel APH yield. Our projected price is $13.50, cash price $13.20. Our expected revenue would be $9.24. That would be our, our, our expected cash revenue minus our total cost, which in this case is total $777. 472 in non-line costs, $305 in cash rent. If we look at the RP coverage levels at 85%, we have a cash revenue guarantee of $785. That does exceed our cost by $8. So on soybeans, we have a chance of an $8 return. That obviously wouldn't go very far in, in meeting our obligations. So we have risk in 20, 2022. Obviously, if we get those expected returns, we could have a good year, but we have risk. We could see many things, and we could have much lower yields or much lower prices by the time we get to harvest. So we also have to remember in this situation is that unlike most years or many years in the past, we will not be getting ARC and PLC payments when revenue protection or crop insurance kicks in because we're at such much higher prices. So the risk mitigation impacts of our commodity title program isn't there this year. So we're not likely to have payments from those ARC PLC payments. So what do we do in this environment? Here are three suggestions. First is keep the crop insurance uh, at a high coverage level. Illinois farmers in northern and central Illinois typically buy 80 and 85 percent coverage levels. Southern Illinois, 75 to 80 percent, staying there 
is a good idea. Even given that we'll have higher guarantees, we still need that given our higher cost. We would also suggest looking at buying up uh, another product or getting a supplemental product such as ECO, SCO, or some private add-ons. But you have to look at the premium cost of those. Some of those pr those products have high premium cost, and in a normal year, uh, much of the profit would go towards those premiums. Finally, we would suggest pricing more than usual. Typically, Illinois farmers have about 20% of their grain priced by the end of March. Having that in the 30 to 40% per range would be a good idea. Again, we have good prices or prices that cover cost on an average cash rent situation. It might be the year to take advantage of those. Here in summary, we have the chance of being very having a profitable year in 2022, but the risks are there as well. So given those risks, let's do what we need to do on the, uh, the risk protection side. Take RP at a high coverage level. Think about those supplemental products and hedge more than usual. You can read more about this in the Farm Doc Daily that is linked in the description below.